up guys welcome back to underneath the veil of marigold and if you are new to my channel i am basically like an online grimoire walking talking book of shadows uh, you can find just about any sort of magic on my channel personal vlogs lifestyle food vlogs you name it i probably have it so my channel is an open book and if you have questions always feel free to ask or email me and i will answer you as soon as i can i am here today to pass along the small channel magic tag and I would like to say thank you to the Witch of Rose Garden for tagging me and I'm going to be passing along this tag and if you aren't tagged then feel free to pass it along anyways it's just something to share a channel that you like to kind of get their name out so other people can experience their content and you know be inspired it's really what we're searching for in life is inspiration creativity and new ways to do things to incorporate into our lifestyles and our practices so if there's a channel that you would like to recommend that I didn't say or nobody else has mentioned yet, place it in the comments, make a video about it, uh, tag it on your social media. I mean, I would love to check it out. There's one YouTuber that I did check out from Witch of Rose Garden's video that was up on her channel. I did check out a YouTuber that was on that list and I got highly addicted to her content. So I am also gonna be tagging her as well because I feel like her channel deserves so much more recognition than what it's getting. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple like anxiety de-stress tincture as well with the stuff that I have on hand. So I'll just take you through that and you can kind of watch how to assemble this and how you might want to tweak it and make it your own. That's entirely up to you. I'm just a base guideline here. I'm just kind of showing you what I would do. All right, let's get into it. The first witch I would like to recommend is the witch who actually tagged me in this post. When I came across her channel, The Witch of Rose Garden, I found her to be a very creative, passionate individual, and I was like, hmm, this girl has to be a Scorpio. She has to be. And sure enough, <laughs> she revealed in her last video that she was a Scorpio, which totally jives with me because my moon sign is in Scorpio, and I just love Scorpios. They're very inspiring people. They're very creative and passionate in what they do, and I highly appreciate those sorts of creators. So if you have not checked her out yet, then please go check out The Witch of Rose Garden. You will not be disappointed in her content. Just to give you guys a little bit of backstory on this tincture, you will need two parts apple cider vinegar. I wasn't entirely how sure, like, the amount I wanted. So I only had a little bit of vinegar left, and I was like, okay, I know the ingredients need to be completely submerged or else it's not going to extract these plants properly. So make sure you have at least two parts vinegar, and then you're gonna need one part of the plants that you're using. And I chose to use a teaspoon of skull cap and a tablespoon of ashwagandha root and a tablespoon of passion flower and then about a tablespoon of lemon balm. All these plants together create a relaxing kind of sedative effect. You're not gonna feel out of it or out of whack or it's like sluggish or anything. This is gonna help you relax. You can also use these plants in a tea, which is what I would normally do to test a plant out to see if I have any sort of like reaction to them. So I know that I am not allergic to any of these plants or herbs. So test out a small amount first with some like hot water, hot tea water before you start putting these tinctures together because this is going to be an extremely stronger version of the tea that you are drinking. The next witch I would like to get out there is Noir Grimoire. She's a straightforward sort of witch and she really recommends owning your power because that is the path that you are on if you are practicing witchcraft. You need to own your power and she is completely right and I highly agree with that. And she is into occult magic, so if you want to learn how to work with certain demons, she would be that witch to go to. And also planetary magic, she is highly knowledgeable. Guys, she is into psychotherapy too, so if that is something that intrigues you or you want to know more about, then check out her channel. I highly recommend it. Next, we have the Witch of Mushroom Forest. She has various knowledge of poisonous herbs, plants, and she has 
a lot of videos upon being full magic and different ways to perform these magics. Some ways that most people probably aren't familiar with, so I would highly recommend checking her out if you are looking more into darker workings. And she has a pact with Master Leonard, so if you want to learn more about that and possibly invoking him and working with him as well, then I'd suggest checking her channel out. She has a lot of knowledge that has been passed down to her through generations, so go ahead and take a look. Next up, we have Jasmine the Sage. This girl does a bit of everything, let me tell you. She is a very multifaceted witch, and she is also a bodybuilder, so if you are looking for inspiration to get back on your A-game and building some muscle and living that healthy lifestyle, then give this girl's channel a check out because she is doing all the above. She's getting her education together. She's doing it all. She's a very strong-willed person and she has a very good head on her shoulders. She has like everyday vlogs on there. She got her workouts and diet stuff and she's just documenting her magical practice. It's a very amazing channel that deserves a lot more views. So go ahead and check out Jasmine the Sage. Next up, we have Belle Ravenstar, and this was one of the ones that I binged watched after I saw the recommendations on the Witch of Rose Gardens channel, and I looked at how many subscribers she had, and I was like, holy shit, why doesn't she have <laughs> that many people on this channel? Like, what the fuck is wrong with everyone? So, this gal is so fucking crafty, like... She's so very creative in her spell work, and she has great ideas that are very inspiring for, especially me. Sometimes I can get into these mental ruts, and it really destroys my like creative passion for the lifestyle that I live. And just watching her in her videos, and the way they're edited, and the way she describes things, and just looking at her fashion and style, and just everything as a whole, it just inspires you to go to the next level with whatever the heck it is that you're doing. So I highly recommend checking out Bell Raven Star. She has tons of spell work, tons of tips, and she has a fantastic personality. Last up, I have Sup Witches. I wouldn't say her channel is the smallest, but it's definitely not the biggest either. And also very underrated, at least to me. Her videos are well edited. She talks about gray witchcraft, hedge witchcraft, all different types. She talks about divination, working with spirits. She touches base on a lot of different topics. And she has been practicing since she was 12 years old. She has tons of tips, tricks, and doesn't overcomplicate the spell work. So if you haven't checked her out, then I highly recommend it. And remember, just because I didn't name off a particular channel that you thought should have been named off or suggested, you can place them in the comments below and I will gladly check them out. Amongst everyone else who sees this video will gladly check them out. Promote them on your social media anywhere. It's up to you guys to get the word out. They're already trying their hardest to get their views and collect an audience that appreciates what they're doing. For those of you who are curious to how long this tincture needs to sit, you will need to shake this every day for two to four weeks, depending on what type of plants you used, because some of them are more dense than others, so it's gonna take longer for the vinegar to break it down. And you can charge it up with some crystals that help alleviate anxiety and promote balance like I did. And I just placed a purple candle on top because purple is a very relaxing color for me and gets me into the right state of mind. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you check out these fantastic practitioners. Until next time, I will see all you lovely little burritas later.